Oscar for phonyism. There's no Oscar for manipulation and disingenuous acting. There's no true anointing. That's just foundation in hypocrisy and pride and covetedness. But we came here on this week to tell the Lord to turn the light from heaven on our soul. The holy convocation is the convening of the saints, those who are set apart. It's the coming together of the saints of God. The holy convocation for the church of God in Christ is not a convening of liars where the liars come together and strategize how to become a more effective liar. The holy convocation for the church of God in Christ is not a convening of manipulators and con artists where they all come together to see how can we plot and destroy and be more effective. The holy convocation is not a convening of fornicators and adulterers where we sit up and marry and mess with other married people and will not your spouse and exploit your sexual desires. The holy convocation is not a convening of same-sex individuals that prey on other folk with like minds. But the holy convocation is the church of God that celebrate holiness. The holy convocation is where we come together and fast and pray and celebrate God for our roots in holiness. Celebrate God for our roots in righteousness. Can you say yes? Throw your arms around your neighbor. Shake them by the shoulder. Y'all stop being disobedient. Throw your arms around your neighbor and holler at them. Say, Ooh, neighbor, welcome to the holy convocation. Glad you're here. Come on in where the table is spread and the feast of the law is going on. The holy convocation is a display of God's power through miracles, signs, and wonders. Can you say it? Yeah? The holy convocation is to celebrate our heritage and our doctrine of holiness. Can you say it? Yeah? It's to celebrate that through it all, preachers have remained steadfast. Missionaries have remained on the wall. Churches have remained open. Backsliders have been reclaimed. Sickness has now healed. Destroyed minds now have peace. Throw your arms around your neighbor and say, Welcome to the convocation. Shout yay! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Lastly, we come to the convocation to celebrate what Christ did. Christ did on the cross. I remember the hymnologists say, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens. Y'all ain't praying with me. Ooh, and the burdens of my heart roll away. It was there. Lord have mercy. It was there. By faith, I receive my sight. And now, now, can I get somebody? 
to help me shout now. I'm happy all the day. Is there anybody here happy? Clap your hands and shout I'm happy. Lift your hands all over the building. Lift your hands. Put your purse down. Take off your shoes. Lift your hands up. Let your mind go back to that Sunday service, that Bible study, that time at home where the Lord changed your life. You can be a witness that it was on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross it was the emblem of suffering and shame how I love is there anybody here that love the cross I know you love your church I know you love your building but is there anybody here that loves the cross the blood came streaming down just for me can you say yeah so we came this morning can you say yes lord we came this morning before any meeting we came this morning before any service we came this morning before any rehearsal we came this morning to lift up your hands and say lord Search me, Lord, shut the light from heaven on my soul. If you find anything, if you find anything that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. I want to be right. I want to be safe. I got to be whole. One more time, throw your arms around your name. Shake them and rock them. Rock them and shake them. Holler in your voice and say, neighbor, I decree miracles, signs, and wonders. Let that arm go. Move out of your seat and go help somebody. Signs and wonders. God's gonna do it. He's gonna change your mind. He's gonna turn it around. 